Welcome to this Stiegel video demonstrating how you can add a custom URL to your Google site if you use GoDaddy as your domain provider. If you need more general instructions or use Google domains, please see our other video linked below for more general instructions or Google domain specific instructions of adding a custom URL to your Google site. In this example, our URL is the customurl.com. And so the first step we need to take is we need to prove to Google that we own that domain. So if you do a simple Google search for Google Search Console, go there and you want to go to the Google Search Console tools. And once there, you want to make a start. As you can see, we've got lots of domains already registered. What we want to do is we want to add a new property. We want to add the entire domain. So we'll put it in the domain box. We don't want to use a URL prefix. And in that domain box, just put in your domain, the customurl.com in this example. You don't want HTTP or anything else. We'll use the continue button. And as you can see, Google wants us to add a text record to the DNS records of the domain to show that we own that domain. And so basically, we want to copy this record. And so use the copy button, and it copies that to the clipboard. Then you need to sign into GoDaddy. As you can see, we're already signed in here. And we want to use the DNS option, and we want to manage the zones. When you go to manage zones, you need to pick your domain. And so we've just got the one domain here, uh, the customurl.com. And this will bring up our zone records. What we want to do is we want to add a record. So use the add button. The type of record we need to add is a txt record. The host should be the at symbol because it's the root level, top level domain. And the text value is the value that we've just copied from Google Search Console. Use the save button and now you will see that value being added to our DNS records. Now you can jump back over to Google Search Console and try the verification. This doesn't work the first time all of the time as it takes time for your DNS records to propagate across the internet. In this instance, it worked straight away. We can then go to the property and you can see there's nothing in there as it's a brand new domain unknown to Google Search Console. We no longer need to do anything in Google Search Console here so we can leave and return back to the site. Now we've verified ownership of the domain, we can add in that domain as a URL, as a custom URL to our Google site. So you need to use the settings button. And once you use the settings button, go to custom URLs. As you can see, the example to give here is www.yourdomain.com. If we paste in our URL, it will come up as it's not a valid URL. Google Sites does not support top level domains. You have to have a subdomain. For instance, www. Now you can see that we can assign this domain. It's happy with that. So we use the assign button. And that's now ready to use at Google's end. But we need to tell our domain where to take people to for that www address. So if we jump back over to GoDaddy, we need to now add another record. Use the add button again. This time it needs to be a CNAME record. A CNAME record. And that needs to be www to match the domain prefix that we put in the Google site. This always points to ghs.googlehosted.com. ghs.googlehosted.com. Once we've done that, we can now click Save. As you can see, sometimes these things don't work straight away. The reason being in this instance is we already have a www record. So we can either simply cancel this and edit that one or delete the existing www record and change it. What we'll do is we'll cancel and we'll edit the existing www record. We want to change it from that to that address again, ghs.googlehosted.com. ghs.googlehosted.com. Use the save button. That's now ready, but also potentially you probably want to alter where the naked domain goes, just the customurl.com in this example without the www. The way to do this is to edit the at a record at the very top there. We want to edit this record and instead of it being parked, we want to give it 
the IP address 174.129.25.170. The time to leave, you can just leave that as an hour. Use the save button to save this change. Now you can jump back to the site and you can close the custom URL settings and next you want to publish. Use the big blue publish button. It will ask you what you want your Google Sites published URL to be. That's the one that starts with sites.google.com. We'll just leave it as a custom URL, hyphen con. That's fine for us. We're hopefully no one's ever gonna use it. You can also see that it says here that www.thecustomurl, our custom URL there, is ready for use. One final thing we need to change is we can make sure that everyone on the internet can see our website. And so you can see here, who can view my site is just specific people. It's not everyone. So let's change that on manage. Once you manage in the links section of the share with people and groups, you can use the change button. And you want to make sure that the published site is not restricted and that it's set to public. So therefore the public can access this site. Draft, always keep that as restricted. If you change that, that means you anyone else could edit your site. So you want to make sure it's just the published site is on public. Use the done button. This will now return you back to publish to the web. You can see here now anyone can view the site. And if you wish to, you can choose that search engines cannot find your site. I'm sure if you've gone to the trouble of getting a custom URL, you do want search engines to find it. So leave that option unchecked. When you're ready, use the publish button. Now you see your site has been published. If you use the link button uh, to copy the published site link, you'll see that's using your custom URL with HTTPS on the front of it. If you copy this link, put it into a new browser window, you'll see it does not work immediately as it takes a while for Google to generate an SSL certificate for you to put on that custom URL. So you can come back later and see when that is ready to go. Once enough time has passed, you'll see your new custom URL works. Uh, you can use it without the home on the end if you wish, and that will also work. Uh, one thing you need to bear in mind is that GoDaddy does not provide an SSL service free of charge. So therefore your uh, naked domain, your top level domain, without the www will not work without you paying something extra to GoDaddy. But if you use it with just HTTP, or someone was just to type it directly into your browser, that will do the redirect for you. And as you can see, we arrive at the HTTPS www address. We hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching. You can find more new Google Sites videos at steagle.com.